Hi again, Mark Hoyle here. Um, one more pot drawing, I promise, just one more. Um, what I'm going to do is um, kind of show you in detail how to use the EADS chart, the estimated vessel equivalent chart I kind of showed on in an earlier video uh, and kind of how that works. So what I've got today is um, a piece of black burnished ware, kind of made from about oh, 120 AD. Um, onwards, uh, mainly used for kind of cooking pots, bowls, dishes, um, but what I'm going to try and show you is kind of how to use the um, the Eves chart, the, the estimated vessel equivalent chart. So what I'm going to do is kind of use this and, and kind of just get the, the, the radius of the, the rim itself so you can kind of see the, the kind of curve around here, kind of getting that, but kind of show you on screen uh, how to do that. Okay, so what I have in front of me here is the kind of eaves chart. And what we're going to do is kind of use the pot now. Remember the technique I showed you in an early video about kind of getting the kind of the angle of the rim. What we're going to try and do once we've located the angle of the rim is to, uh, I'll show you how to kind of to use this now. All we do is trace it up the eaves chart. Now, as you can see, some of these kind of the, the lower radial marks on, you can kind of see the edges themselves. It doesn't quite match if you go kind of really far out again you see the opposite happens goes too far out come right in uh, it kind of cuts into it so we, we, we keep kind of pushing this up the chart until we kind of get a good match now we're getting getting close here that's kind of 13 centimeters 14 centimeters kind of really good what about 15 c15 is a bit shading there so if we go back down to 14 now if I show you there, the edges, hopefully, uh, kind of sit perfectly on it. So they kind of that gives us our um, radius shape. Now, if I take this off and kind of show you this this paper here, we, we have the um, the the kind of bar that you'd use for the the kind of rim, the kind of shaping of the rim itself to place along. So we've got there 14 centimeters, and obviously seven centimeters. We have the 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 line down the middle and that will give us this kind of outline shape which we'll, we'll draw around here and then obviously the external view which is kind of this outside view of it will, will be on this side so kind of that is a very quick video on showing you how the eaves chart works okay thank you like subscribe please